I'm Rika Ekoff, and this is Encore's Nordic Update from the venture capital and private equity markets. When Encore released the Q3 figures not so long ago, it looked as though the Nordic region was lagging behind, with the rest of Europe picking up pace at a much faster rate. Yet looking closer at the figures for the whole year, you'll see that although both the number and sizes of Nordic deals dropped significantly, it didn't even come close to the abrupt halt you saw in continental Europe and the UK especially. Many attribute this to the Scandinavian relationship banking model, allowing at least the very good deals to obtain financing even in a time of crisis and despair, although of course at lower levels. Looking at deals completed over the past month, you can see that this trend has continued. Most of the acquisitions that included a debt component reportedly had debt to equity ratios of 50-50, a far cry from the 80-20 and even 90-10 levels we saw during the peak of the credit boom. For deals have in fact been happening over the past month, and in Q4, the region is looking to catch up with the rest of Europe. As one advisor put it, it was as though someone turned a switch. The most talked about is of course Sweden's sell-off of its pharmacy network, with Altor securing the largest chunk with over 200 pharmacies across Sweden. Alter partner Frederick Strömholm said that they are planning to open a further 100 outlets over the next five years. What was particularly interesting with the sell-off, ending 38 years of monopoly in the sector, was that out of the four buyers, three of the new pharmacy owners in Sweden are private equity firms. Privec Investments acquired two clusters together with Investor Growth Capital, and Segula bought three clusters with outlets centered around the urban areas of Stockholm, Gothenburg and Malmö. Nordea Bank provided senior financing to all three deals. So does this mean that private equity is back and all public rage over bankers' bonuses, lack of transparency and a frustration with financial services in general have passed? Hardly. But it does suggest that private equity has managed to convey its message of its superior governance model and the benefits of its ownership model. In fact, it may seem they're being perceived as responsible owners. Both Alter and Privex stress that they view their pharmacy investments as a long-term project and are prepared for longer holding periods. A cynic would probably reply that with exit markets yet to open, they have no option than to hold on to assets for longer. Then again, that's not entirely true either. With an investor just selling in Telecom, a Norwegian software company, it took private less than a year ago. In Sweden, Segler just exited office supplier Isberg Rapid in a trade sale to a Celt, and Privec just recorded their best exit to date with the sale of pharmaceutical company Swedish Orphan to Biovitrum. The IPO market is also looking to pick up, with Norzone revealing at a conference for business angels in Stockholm a few weeks back, it plans to float content management business EpiServer next year. If nothing else, it is a sign that optimism is back in the market, despite talk of slow and painful L-shaped and W-shaped recoveries. Events over the next quarters will show if the sentiment is grounded in reality or merely down to wishful thinking. I'm Rick Ekop, that was Uncle's Nordic Update. Thank you for watching.